Hey everybody, what's up? As you can tell, we're uh, cutting a little bit of hay. We are uh, getting our last cutting for the year on our property. We actually got a little bit of rain uh, last week. And so that helped the dryness, the drought situation a little bit. We're still in a drought technically, but uh, it's better than it was. And we got some much needed rain. Also, um, it feels weird, but I am cutting and bailing a hoodie. That's a first for me. So. Uh, yeah, but like I said, uh, the reason for that is we had a cold front move in. Uh, we got a little bit of a frost yesterday morning and a big time frost, uh, pretty much a freeze. We was under a freeze warning uh, for this morning. I think it got down 20, upper 20s, 26, 27, somewhere around there. So, uh, so yeah, but thankfully I got everything cut, uh, but now it's time to get it raked and bailed. So my rake can is laid out on me today. Uh, probably she'll be back and joining tomorrow to help me get it finished up, but uh, let's get with it. Baylor's doing pretty good. Got it. Pretty tight. That's, yeah, good enough. Got some stragglies here because I ran over it after I tied it. We're in the process of tying it. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, got 14 bells out of my three rounds on this field. And uh, hopefully we'll jump on this tomorrow and get it knocked out. And then once we get it done, we'll jump on the south meta down there and front meta and get it knocked out. So rolling along.
Well, all right. I think that's going to uh, wrap up hay season uh, for 2022. This is uh, the north, I call it the back meadow here. It's on the north side of the property. And uh, the, the front meadow is down there and we bailed some on that too. But I made pretty good really, considering we uh, have been in a flash drought or a drought. It started out as a flash drought and just turned into a full blown drought. Um, I actually see it's greened up a little bit. Uh, and that's because we actually got uh, close to three inches of rain uh, the following week after we got this, well, earlier this week. This is about a week after the belling video. So uh, because of work and other things, I'm just now getting out here to kind of wrap things up for you. But So yeah, we've had three inches of rain, which was much needed, uh, giving God the glory on that because uh, we definitely needed it. Uh, everything went pretty good, pretty smooth for the most part. Uh, if anybody else out there does any bailing, I'm pretty sure you know uh, Murphy's Law applies. Uh, and if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong when you've got hay on the ground and there's rain coming. So, But like I said, everything actually went pretty good. Nothing major. Well, I say nothing major. I did have a little issue uh, actually right up here on this hill. I thought, uh, I thought my baler was plugging up a little bit and uh actually end up my pto shaft come off somehow so that's kind of a flaw with this baler that i've got that i don't really like anyhow that happened uh and so i didn't know at the time i just thought it was plugging up so i stopped killed the tractor uh figured out what was going on everything was good nothing plugged got back on the tractor to start it uh cranked it over a few times and uh got off to walk around and check my stock couldn't get it to it was turning over but i couldn't get it to uh, take off to start anyhow i got out to uh, check my starter uh, just to see what was going on there and actually saw smoke coming up from the starter area and uh seen a little flame shoot up all of a sudden and so i got that blown out uh didn't catch anything else on fire i let it cool off for a little while got the wires back on there good enough to uh to start it cranked right up the first try and i was able to finish belling so thank goodness uh, for that but i got that part ordered it's actually here now so my next video is probably going to be me uh, repairing that starter and changing out the uh, putting new lugs on that cable so be sure and watch for that but anyway other than that you know it wasn't nothing else uh didn't really have any issues and uh honestly uh i'm sure i'm gonna have some comments on it this this isn't gonna be my best quality hay just because of the drought and the weather and I, I debated on even whether to cut it or not uh, i was just gonna let the cows get out here and, and graze it and use it as a stockpile even though it wasn't that great but there's so many people needing hay in this area um, even my family members i've got some of them needing hay and friends so i went we went ahead and cut it and that way they can get some hay i don't really expect any regrowth uh you know, like I said, everything's kind of starting to green back up, but I doubt there'll be enough growth here to uh, to really make, you know, any tonnage of forage for grazing. They'll get out here and graze on it a little bit. And once I get these bells moved off, uh, oh, that's another thing on the south meadow down there, the front meadow. You seen where I didn't actually cut all of it. I uh, just kind of cut through the middle of it and sectioned it off. And that was for a couple of reasons. One because of the drought and the weather and the lack of rain we had some undesirables pop up and uh so i didn't i decided not to build those and some spots on the hill over there we actually had some sandbars come up more so than normal and this year has actually been the worst year for sandbars that i've seen and uh you know that's another another consequence of the drought anyhow once i get all these bells moved off uh We'll get the cows, uh, put the cows in here and they can kind of graze, graze in amongst that stuff. Get what grass is in there and go kind of, kind of take that down. And then we'll just uh, be looking forward to spring. So, uh, hopefully the spring, you know, this is all be nice and green, a lot prettier. Uh, and I'll try to do a spring belling video 
uh, just for contrast. So if you enjoyed this one, hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and uh, be watching in the spring, early summer for uh, for another one. I've got some ideas for this for this winter. Uh, debating on coming in and drilling some uh, some grasses for some winter grazing. Uh, still looking at that and pondering on that. But if I'm gonna do it, I need to do it pretty quick. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. God bless. Hopefully you'll come back. If so, we'll see you on the next one.